Hi beautiful people out there, this is again Ashish from Ashir Creations and welcome back. Well guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to you know smoothen or create a texture like Tony Maple. So basically in this video we will just cover up A to Z from the process of dodging and burning. Also we're creating a you know kind of unique texture just like Tony Maple to your skin. So kindly watch full video and learn this secret technique so you can also stand out your photos on Instagram. So before any further delay, let's get straight into the magical world of Photoshop. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Just tap Ashfield Creations. So guys, in this video, we will mainly focus on how to create a skin texture like Tony Mayfood, right? So the very first thing we're gonna do is. First of all, let's start with you know brushing or smoothing in our skin. So what you're gonna do is first of all let's just duplicate from the original layer, right? Now select the mixture brush tool and make sure you have selected this second brush that is just click over here and when you, you will see our transparent area over here, right? So let make sure you the transparent area is seen. Now everything just make it to around you know below 30 percent, wet to 30 percent, load to 25, mix to 28, and flow to around 25 or 26, right? Now select the soft round brush. Make sure you have selected the soft round brush. Now just make sure to get a perfect you know smoothening, and just paint on the area where you wanna make a perfect kind of you know skin smoothening. So this is really very important guys which you really need to you know, understand and do this process in order to get a perfect skin retouching or smoothening or just like Tony Mayfood right. So you can see it is literally looking kind of you know perfection. So you can just play with around and just do a bit of you know skin smoothening on the area where you want to create this kind of effect. Alright now let's see this one, is, this one is looking kind of perfect right. Now you can just you know brush in the direction where you went where you want to create a jaw lines right make make sure guys that uh, direction of this brush should be in a perfect direction and it should look kind of more realistic and amazing let's see if i want to create a white tease effect over so i'll just move it on over this portion so this will create a white tease kind of look on this area as you can see just a bit would be pretty perfect so finally we have done a smoothening of the skin right so the next thing we are gonna do is if there are any blemishes on the photo you can just totally remove it with the help of spot removal brush as you can see there are a little bit of you know uh, blemishes here and there so i'm gonna just remove it with the help of spot removal brush all right so now i have actually removed everything right i guess all right so the next thing we are gonna do is first of all we will just make a perfect you know dodge and burn effect before doing that we're gonna just brighten up the skin in order to brighten up what we have to do is just go to the adjustment layer select the brightness just increase the brightness level to 100 percent just right click on it select the blending options press the alt key from the keyboard and just move the slider from left to right as you can see i have moved the slider the left to right it is making my skin more glowing and it is lit kind of giving a face a very smooth kind of you know look which is very very necessary and amazing as you can see this one is literally looking so perfect and here is the gray part you can just play with it around Alright, so just keep it as it is, only just focus on the underlying layer. Now just hit OK and we will see the difference. Here was the before and here is after. As you can see, this one is really making a huge impact in the photo. But I just want this effect not on whole image, I just want it on my face. So what I will do is, I will just press Ctrl I from the keyboard so it will invert the mask. So as you can see, I have just removed that. All right now select the brush tool make sure you have selected the white color on the foreground and you can just increase the opacity to 100 percent first of all right now just paint it on the area where you want to create that kind of effect right now we're gonna just paint it on the face only all right 
so I'll just paint the face where I want that perfect smoothening skin. The color grading process that we will do in the rest and you know, the afterwards, right? So finally, as you can see, I have this was the before and this was the after. This one is looking kind of cool, but as you can see here, it is kind of you know leaving uh, leaving some trashish or marks over here. So we're gonna fix it. So select the black color on the for, uh, foreground and just decrease the opacity to around 50%. Now we're gonna just paint it on the edges, except the face near the face area so that it may cover up and it may look kind of more realistic and kind of cool all right so we have almost fixed this right but now here you can see you can't find any details over this portion because this is actually over exposed so we have to fix this so what I'll, I'll do is make sure you select that the opacity of this to around 40 or 30 percent now just Make sure you have selected the black on the foreground and just paint it over there where you want where the overexposed image or where the overexposed light is present. Now as you can see here was a bit of overexposed so I have just fixed it. Let's again decrease some more to around 26% and I will just decrease a bit. So now this one is looking kind of cool alright. So you can see the before and after. So this one is literally making a huge dip, a impact on the photo. Now we're gonna just do or remove it from the nose area. Just remove it from the area where you want to create the dodging kind of effect, right? Now you can see the before and after, right? Now this one is looking, seems to be perfect, I guess, right? But here we're gonna still paint it on the hand region so let's just select the white color and just paint our opacity to 100% and just paint it over here all right because we want to brighten up this area all right so this one is looking seems to be kind of perfect i guess right here's the before and here is the after so let's still more fix it so let's select the uh, mixture brush and select this area and again select the brush tool make sure to go on this select the black color on the foreground and we're gonna just remove it from this portion all right now this one is some, seems to be kind of perfect right so here's the before and here's the after so you can see the huge difference on the photo here's the before and here's the after right so finally now let's just merge both the layers but as you can see here, it is actually overexposed and kind of whitish. So we don't have to, you know, paint on this hand region, right? We just have to do on this because it was actually darker. So now just merge both the layers, right? Now just go to the filter. And finally here we're going to do the process of color grading, right? That is of, you know, Tony Mafood inspired preset. You can directly apply the preset or else you can do them manually. But I'll just give the link of this preset in the description so you can just download it for free. So let's just apply this preset that is FP Tony Mafood. All right, so you can just give any of the preset over here, or let's just give this preset VM inspired. But let's just make a manual correction instead of applying the preset, we're gonna just add a contrast on the photo, reduce the highlights from the photograph. All right increase some bit of shadows increase the whiteness a bit from the photo increase the blackness now we're gonna just reduce a bit of you know exposure just a minus 5 0.5 would be pretty perfect i guess right now add a green uh, sorry vignette on the photo if it is needed but i just leave it as it is i guess right now the next thing we're gonna do with the color grading process now go to the saturation accept the green or just make everything to kind of zero saturated right so we're gonna just make everything to zero all right so we have reduced the saturation of all the colors and here we're gonna just make it to yellow and again we're gonna just reduce the saturation of this yellow tone also 
So we have reduced the whole saturation. The next thing we're gonna do is go to the split toning and make sure you have selected here the color would be around 208 the shadows and we're gonna just increase a bit of the saturation all right to get that perfect kind of look on the photo all right now select the highlights or just keep the highlight as it is now here we're gonna just fix the skin tone right as you can see the go tony map skin tone is kind of you know the gold is type of look so we're gonna just make a skin to kind of little bit of gold and here we're gonna just make a bit of reduce a bit of saturation so this is a very important part of this process of you know color grading or just making a skin like Tony Maffold right so we're gonna just reduce the luminescence a bit if it is needed or you can just is a bit to minus 10 so this is totally up to you guys so finally here we have fixed the skin tone right now just hit ok all right and now just press ctrl uh, let's just select the adjustment layer select the ctrl hue and uh, hue and saturation just click on the color of the skin that should be of the red tone and just we can just make it to plus two or plus three would be pretty perfect i guess and just reduce the saturation to minus two or minus three all right so we have make uh, made a perfect kind of gold skin now just merge both the layers all right so now just go again duplicate the image here we'll just do the process of dodging and burning right so before doing that we can just go to the levels and just move to around until you find the data where the data starts just move that cursor to around that right so now we have fixed this data now just merge both the layers so just right click on it and select merge layers now here the guys the next thing we are gonna do is just duplicate the image we gonna just name it as a dodge and again just uh, just change the blending mode to screen just right click on it and select the blending options Press the Alt key from the keyboard and just press the mouse key so it will open up one more layer. Alright. So here the actual the process of dodging and burning actually starts. As you can see I'm moving the slider, it is affecting on the skin. Now just hit OK. Again the duplicate the layer. Now let's just name it as a burn and just hit OK. Now just place this on top of all the layers. Change the blending mode to multiply. Now just right click on it and select the blending options. Press the Alt key from the keyboard. Now here you have to move the slider from right to left, right? So just press the Alt key from the keyboard and just move the slider from right to left, right? As you can see, I am moving the slider. It is affecting on the skin. It is creating a shadows on the photo, which is really very cool, guys, right? So let's just, this makes a dodge effect on the face sorry burn effect right so as you can see the difference now we're gonna just group both the layers or select both the layers press ctrl g from the keyboard to make a group right now just add a layer mask on it go to the image select the apply image and now here from the layers you have to make sure that you should select the level one that is our original layer right so select the level one from here select the hit ok so as you can see the difference guys this was the before and this was the after it is really creating a huge impact right but now here we are gonna fix this here it you can see it is actually oversaturated and you can't find any details on this area so we will fix this so select the brush tool and make sure you have selected the black color on the foreground so decrease the size of the brush right and make the opacity to around 31 or 30 percent all right let's increase a bit uh, size of the brush select the soft front brush right now here we're gonna just paint the paint with the brush so that it may just remove that uh, dodge and burn effect from the photo because it was actually overexposed so you can just do this thing where you find that it is actually overexposed let's do the same process on the hand region let's increase the opacity and we're gonna just fix the hand a bit all right 
Let's do the increase of opacity. All right. So you can see the difference, guys. We're gonna still remove it from this area because it is looking overexposed. So we're gonna just remove it from the pan. All right. So you can see the difference. Here was the before and here is after. Let me zoom it and show you. Here is the before and here is the after. Still you can see here the details near the nose region it is losing so we gonna do the same process that is select erasing that uh, thing from there so select the opacity to around 30% would be pretty perfect and just select the brush tool and just paint it over here. So we'll just and also do the process on this portion just a bit of over there. So now this seems to be kind of perfect you can you can see the difference guys. here was the before and here is the after. It is literally looking so perfect and kind of giving an impact to the photo, right? Now just more about the layers, right? The next thing we are gonna do is just go to the filter, select the camera filter and here we're gonna just enhance the clarity of the photograph. So just a bit, increase a bit of clarity to plus 10 and just hit OK, alright? So this will create a perfect sharpness on the photo, right? Right. So the next thing we are gonna do is adding a surface to the photo. We will add a texture to the photograph. So what we gonna do is, let's just duplicate the image. Just go to the filter, select the filter gallery. And from here, make sure you have just go to the texture and select the last option that is texturize, right? Now just texturize it as you can see we will see the before and after process alright. So make sure we have selected the sandstone from here and make the scaling to around 54 and relief to around 2 and select the position here from the top alright. So as you can see it is getting a perfect kind of grainy texture on the skin which is very important and just hit ok alright. Now just press Ctrl plus uh, add a layer mask on this image. First of all, we will see the difference. So here was the before and here is the after. As you can see, it is getting a texture on the skin, right? So this is really important. This is not a green, guys. This is a texture. There is a lot of difference between green and texture. So we have added a texture to the photo. Now just press Ctrl I on the layer mask so it is deleted from whole image because we just want it on the face region and also on the hand region. Select the brush tool and make sure you've selected the white color on the foreground and just make the opacity to 100% and just paint on the area where you want to create the texture right. We, I just want it on my face and also on the hand region so I'm just gonna paint it on the hand just roughly you can just paint there is not a compulsory one needed of you know adding a bit or very precisely this thing right so finally as you can see the difference guys here is the before and here is the after so we have added a texture on the skin now just merge both the layers finally the next process is of color grading so select the selective color, selective color we're gonna select the neutral color and just make it to around plus two or plus three i guess plus six would be pretty perfect i guess right all right so this one is looking kind of cool now just merge both the layers and finally we are gonna add a texture green to the photo just go to the filter, select the camera, go to the FX tab and add a green to around 25. Size to around 25, right? And the roughness to around 50 and just hit OK. If you want to add a vignette, you can totally add it. Now if you want to decrease some highlights from the photo, you can just decrease it just a bit would be pretty perfect right this you can totally fix it by your choice here you can still more add a texture on the photo just a bit to around plus three or plus one and finally it is make a done 
So finally guys we have perfectly edited the photo like Tony Mapwood as you can see the difference here was the before and here is the after. A huge difference can be seen in the photo guys. This one is literally so perfect technique which Tony Mapwood uses in his photo. So I hope you have learned this technique of you know creating a texture or skin texture like Tony Mapwood. So let's see the before and after guys. So guys, this is literally so dope. You should learn this technique in order to create a perfect skin tone like Tony Mafford. So guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make cool videos and presets like this for you guys for free. And if you still not subscribe to our channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashvirpurisense.com from there you can just download all the preset and stuff just for free and also guys don't forget to visit our second website which we are gonna launch soon that is filterpreset.com and also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram just tab ashvir creations so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome